Hey guys, what's up? It's Allie. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be me showing you some DIY Billie Eilish merch and room decor. Also, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. That would really help me out. And if you really like this video, hit the thumbs up button and all my other social media accounts will be down in the description. Also, this shirt, if you want to see me make this, it's on TikTok. Anyways, that's a long enough intro. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. So if you'd like to see how to make this stuff, keep on watching. So the first DIY I'm going to be showing you guys is this canvas collage. It's pretty self-explanatory, but it's really cute. All you're going to need is a canvas, photos, glue, a brush, and stickers. I just got my stickers from walmart.com and they were really cheap. First, I'm just laying out all the photos and rearranging them until I find a pattern that I like. Once I'm satisfied with how my pictures look, then I'm going to start laying out the stickers and place those in places that I think would look good. And I recommend just playing around with it until you find something you like, because there's really no way to go wrong with this. Once I'm happy with how it turned out, I'm going to take a picture of it so when I remove it, I will know how to put it back. And then I will start moving all the stickers and pictures and put them on the floor. Now it's time to glue your pictures onto the canvas. I put my glue on a plate so that I could dip my sponge in it better. I put glue on the back of the pictures and I also put glue on the canvas. And repeat this process to all of your pictures. Once my glue finishes drying, then I'm going to start placing my stickers back on the canvas and make sure I still like where they are. Now it's time to stick the stickers on the pictures. And this is the final product of DIY number one. The second DIY, I get questions all the time on how do I make it, and it is a blush plush. So if you want to see how to make this, keep on watching. I normally make mine out of t-shirt material, but you can make it out of any cloth you have. I start out by drawing a pattern or printing one out, and then I will cut the material in that shape. Once your cloth is cut out, then you're going to sew around the perimeter but you're going to leave a 2 inch gap underneath this arm so we can put stuffing inside. My cloth does not have a front or back side, but if yours does, definitely flip it inside out before you sew it. Once you have finished sewing, then you're going to flip him back right side out. Now since I'm finished flipping, I'm going to start the stuffing process. I'd recommend using a wooden dowel to help you push the stuffing in the arms and legs. Once you've finished stuffing, then you're going to go ahead and hand sew that 2 inch gap underneath this arm back together. And that's the final product for DIY number 2. This is one of the TikToks I made with them, but I had to cut out the music for copyright reasons. This next DIY is a Don't Smile At Me album cover t-shirt. The app I used to make my photo is called Layout. I selected four images. Two of the images are one pose, the other two images are the other pose. And then I chose my layout, the one I chose was on the top left. Then you're going to resize your images and make them fit in the squares and make sure you mirror your images. That's the most important step or else it'll be backwards when you print it. And then you're going to click save in the top right corner and then also click done in the top right corner. This will automatically save the image we just created into your camera roll. Now we're going to print our image on transfer paper. Now we're going to cut the excess off the sides of your image so there's not a lot of white showing. First I ironed the shirt so that I had a smooth surface for the image to go on. Then I laid the image down and ironed it for about one minute, making sure to get it evenly coated with heat. 
Then you will pull your paper off really slowly to make sure it doesn't tear. And that's the completed t-shirt. I really like it. This is one of my favorite t-shirts. I'm very happy with how it come out. So now let's move on to DIY number four. This is DIY coasters for your room. First, I picked out two images that I wanted on my coasters. I printed them both out, and I also found some circle wooden coasters at the dollar store. I traced around the outside of my coaster on the picture so that I would know where to cut it. Then you're gonna cut it out. Once you have finished cutting out your image, then you're gonna put some Mod Podge on the coaster so it can act like glue and hold your picture down. I also put Mod Podge on the back of my image. Then I stuck both pieces together and I held them together for like 10 seconds. I also put Mod Podge all over the top so it would act as a waterproof face. And then I used the exact same steps to create a second one. And this is the final product of the DIY coasters. These are really cute and I will definitely be using them in my room. Now moving on to DIY number five. This DIY is an album cover box. For this box, I did the When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go album. First, I started painting the top of the box black. You can obviously paint the sides of the box, but I just chose to do the top. Next, I just printed a picture of the album cover out and I used Mod Podge to stick it to the top of the box. And this is how the final box turned out. I really like it. And I also keep this displayed in my room. And finally, moving on to the last DIY, this is a bloche cork board. So the items you're going to need is a cork board, a bloche outline, and scissors. I started off by cutting the outline out. And then I laid it on top of the cork board and I traced it. Once I'm finished tracing, I tried to cut it out with scissors, but it didn't really work. So I ended up using an X-Acto knife. Once we have finished cutting it out, now we're going to paint it. I didn't have the exact color, so I just made it out of mixing some other green paints that I had. You're going to be painting two or three layers of this. Once your blush is dry, you're going to take a sharpie and trace around the outside. Then you're also going to draw on the lines between the arms and the legs. And that's what the final product of this DIY looks like. I know it doesn't have that line between the legs, but I accidentally cut it wrong. And I had to do that to make the legs even. But I still really like how it turned out. Also, my court board already had magnets on the back of it, but if yours doesn't, you can just stick some stick-on magnets on the back. Really easy. And I think this looks really cute on my whiteboard because it just adds something extra to an empty space. So that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you decide to recreate any of these DIYs, please DM me a picture or send me a picture. I want to see what they look like. You can DM me on Instagram or you can tag me on Instagram. Or if you make a TikTok, tag me on TikTok of you doing this DIY. Just somehow show me I want to see them. My favorite DIY was definitely the canvas with the Billy pictures and stickers. That is perfect and I've been wanting to put it up there for a while. That's where I've been wanting to put it even before I filmed this video to make it. I'm really excited. I'm happy with how everything turned out. I will see you guys next time. Bye.